Hey everybody, um, today we're working on partial product multiplication. Last time when we got together we worked on the traditional algorithm. Today I want to show you another strategy that you can use that you might find will be a little bit easier. So we're going to start out with 5,624 and we're going to use the expanded form of that to help us multiply this a little bit easier. So 5,624 is 5,624. Um, so over here I can set this up as a partial product equation. I'm doing 5,000 times the 7. Then I do 600 times the 7. And then I have 20 times 7. And then finally I have 4 times 7. Now if I solve for these, I'll be able to add them together and get my solution. So I'm going to think 7 times 5, that's 35. Now I'm not, I'm not multiplying by 5 though, I'm multiplying by 5,000. So I need to bring these three zeros across. Because 7 times 5 is 35, 000, 7 times 5,000 is 35,000. Now I have 7 times 600, or 600 times 7. I'm going to think 7 times 6 that's 42, but I want to bring these two zeros across. So here's the zero and the ones, zero and the tens. And then I can slot my 42 hundreds in where they go. Next I have 7 times 20. I'm going to think 7 times 2, that's 14. I'll bring my one zero over, and then I can put my 14 down. 14 tens, or 140. Now I have 4 times 7, and that goes in the tens in one place there. And now I have all my partial products here, 35,000, 4,200, 140, and 28. And if I add those together, I'll get the solution, the product, for my original equation, 5,624 times 7. All these zeros in the 1's place plus the 8 equals 8. The sum of 4 and 2 is 6. Sum of 0, 2, and 1 is 3. Sum of 5 and 4 is 9. And this 3 up here all by itself just comes down with the rest because it was lonely up there. And now I have the product of 5,624 times 7 equals 39,368. And that's how we do partial products. So on to your turn to try it on our game today. Have fun!